Hello Explorers, welcome back. So I'm sure you can hear it in my voice, but I am sick. The last couple videos you guys have watched were all filmed on the same day, um, a couple days ago, prior to me getting sick. So I haven't filmed in a couple of days, but I'm out of my like backlogged videos. So I had to film, but that's okay. Cause I, I actually truly love doing this. Um, so let's get started. We are going to do a Japan cash stuffing and I actually have a new um, challenge. It's it's finally ready. The new road trip challenge. And I say it like that because it is actually different. Um, I was going to show it in the travel one, but we're already doing a really big challenge in the travel one with the cruise, which I might take a break from that cruise one because I really want to do this. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me count this. So we have 150, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So $250. Not a whole lot. So I'm not even certain if we're going to be able to do the new challenge. Um with this little, but we'll probably just do an IOU and I'm okay with that um, because it is one of the bigger ones. And what I might do is just have all of the binders like contribute towards it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it's gonna go. I've got too many big ones going at once, but I really, really wanted to do this one. So let's start with J is for Japan. So one, two, three, four, five. Five J bucks. Let me, it would be helpful if I had the binder. <clears throat> Here it is. All right, so let's do five J bucks. We are getting so close on this one. Three, four, and five. So um, I saw a couple of comments between uh, YouTube and TikTok about my nails and I wanted to figured I would t talk to you guys about them. I thought I thought that was gonna happen um, and I meant to address it but you know sometimes I plan on doing something and then I just forget. So these are actually press-ons you guys. Um, they're Olive and June press-ons because I am so sick of spending $48 at the nail salon for them to do gel polish and then I'm not happy with it because no matter what they keep putting me with the same girl and no matter how many times I point it out she always does this one thumb crooked like the top of it is always at like a slant like this and I every time I point it out she like attempts to fix it but she just makes it shorter and it's still crooked like it does I don't know why she just does not fix it and so I'm sick of paying $48 for polish and then to not be happy with it um, and plus, because they don't put enough top coat on, it ends up like changing color really bad because I get the white. Um, and I actually showed my husband. I had the polish on, the white polish on before I put these on. And I compared it, like I put my nails next to these press-ons. I was like, look at how bad the discoloration has happened. And I had these on, I had the polish on for I think like two weeks. So what I did was I went to the salon and I was like, just take the polish off. Like, I just want you to take them off and trim my nails down. So I had them do that. It cost me 15 bucks. And then my nails were all nice and roughed up because you do need to, and the key to getting press-ons to stay on is to make sure that your nail underneath is nice and rough. I actually rough up the back of the, the press-on as well. And then um, while the, even though these are Olive and June nails, I do not use their glue. Um... The glue I use is like I N Y K Y or something. I'd have to um look it up. It's from Amazon and it was like $13. But you paint it on like polish instead of it being like a super glue. Just because I find that when you use that like super glue <clears throat> or regular nail glue, it um it ends up you end up putting a glob on and then it comes out the sides and it's just a mess. So I got this stuff and I really like it. It's holding up very well. Like these are not going anywhere. So yeah, I got these at 
Target. They were on clearance. I think I think I paid like five dollars for these this press on set. I bought a couple of different sets. And then I actually reached out to Olive and June because they had <clears throat> excuse me, they had reached out to me a couple years ago to partner and at the time I was actively getting acrylics on my nails at the salon. So I was like, I'm not gonna use press ons, like I get my nails done. But now that I'm trying to like save money from that because I just it's disgusting how much I've spent at the salon to get my nails done. I reached out to them and I was like, hey, do you want to partner? So they're sending me a package with um, some different ones that I picked out from their website. But these ones I did buy. I bought them at Target. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68 dollars. 68 dollars. So what, we need like 32 dollars? And then this will be complete. Oh man, it's getting it's getting hard to put it in there. Let me try doing it like this. I think next time I'm just not going to count this one. So I don't have to pull all of this out. And then we'll just count it when it's done. Since we do have a tracker, so you can always do it that way. Alright, so this one is done. Now, um, before we start on Japan Road Trip, I'm going to show you the new one. So, this is the new Road Trip Savings Challenge. It is clearly not Road Trip. This is Sky's the Limit Savings. And it's done in the same capacity as road trip. So what you do is whatever state you live in, obviously I'm in Nevada. I'm going to go on my phone. Let me lower this. Um, what I'll do is the first thing I'm going to do is scratch one off. I have no idea where the, what these are, what are under these. I'm going to scratch one off. The first one I scratched off is... Missouri. Wait, that's Missouri, right? MS? MS is Missouri, right? Mississippi. Okay. So, then we're going to go to flights to Mississippi. And you can use Alexa or, you know, whatever you want to look up. So, how this works, you're going to scratch your state. We got Mississippi. And then you're going to pick an airline or a website. I was going to use Frontier or um, Spirit because those are budget airlines. So, I know that this will be more affordable and actually attainable to complete. Um, but not, but Spirit and Frontier don't fly everywhere. So, I think I might just use Expedia. And that way I can use one website for everything. And I'm going to put in flights leaving from somewhere in my state, which I'm just going to use Las Vegas because we actually have an airport here. And then you would put in going to that state. Doesn't matter where in that state, anywhere in that state. Um, for Mississippi, we did Jackson, Mississippi. And flights are starting at $59. So a flight to Mississippi from Nevada is $59. So that's how much we will put into this one. 51, 5, 6, 7, 8, 59. There we go. So let's just double check. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So that is how this one is done. So underneath each one of these is a state um, abbreviation. So yeah, just a fun, different way. And this is going to go to be my, um, 
This will obviously go into my travel funds, which is why I said this was going to go with um, the travel binder. But I really wanted to show you guys in this one. And I didn't have a travel cash stuffing I was going to be doing because, as you guys know, I finished most of the challenges in the travel binder. Um, I think it's going to get to a point where I'm going to end up combining the Japan binder and the travel binder pretty soon as I'm like completing a lot of them and I don't have enough for like one video um, for each of them. All right, so let's do Japan road trip now and we need the 20, the 10, that's 30. 42 that gives us 48 okay and there's 47 on here so as long as we don't roll 48 we'll be good is this one gonna stop all right we landed on three plus two is five plus seven is twelve plus four is 16 and 16 is done so we have 13 17 um, 29 and 35 35 is done so at this point let's just uh how many do we have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Let's roll the 20 sided die and we'll just count them. <laughs> Is it going to stop? So we got number 14. So here's what I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's number thirty. I'm just gonna count it based off what's available. So we got number thirty, which is Wakayama. And Wakayama is let's see here. Four dollars and fourteen cents. So we're putting in twenty, thirty, forty, one, two, three, four. Um, let's go ahead and do a second one. So we got nineteen. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen is forty four, which is saga. Okay. And forty four is four dollars and eighteen cents. So we have 30, 40. All right, this isn't going to work out. We need to get some change. Let me see. So we had $4.18. So 41 plus 41. $82 is how much we need in total between these. So let's take the 100. I'm sure there's change in there. Sure, there's enough change in here. Oh, there is not. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Put back this 20, take two, and then we take this 100. Hope that made sense. So basically I took 102 from there so that I could take $20 out as change. Okay. So now in Japan road trip, we have five, nine, because this is 400, 900 in a high yield, 1,000, 20, 40, 50, 
60, 70, 80, 90, 1100, and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Eleven hundred and nine dollars, which is crazy. All right, so Tokyo Challenge. Let me grab that book. Okay, we are gonna roll a regular six-sided die. What do we get? We got one, so we're gonna do this one. We're gonna multiply it by four. Ooh, I hope I have enough money to multiply this by four. Oh, $40, okay. I don't, yeah, we have enough, but that's a lot. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. Sitting in a different spot today. So $40, we have 20. 30 and 40. So now in the Tokyo challenge, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 420, 440, 450, 460, 473. 473. Ugh. Okay. Next is Adventure is Calling, which is the Destination cards from Ren over at Mischief Managed Budgets. These are all the ones we have completed. These are the ones we're working on. And we're doing Dubai. I'd love to be able to do two of these because I really want to get some stuff done in this binder. And it is $5. So you know what? We might actually be able to do two of these. No, I think I'm going to leave it. And the only reason I say that is because this is one that can easily be done in the travel binder. It's not really Japan specific. It is just destination cards. So we will, when we combine the two, I just dropped that dice. When we combine the two, um, this is a good one that will fit perfectly in the Japan binder. Where did I put the... I was looking for the little bag that these belong in. So we're doing $5 into destination cards. I'm actually going to swap these two fives for a 10 because we have a lot of 10s. All right, so we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 110. <clears throat> Next is this one and we're gonna finish it. This is the Kyoto. This is also from Ren at Mischief Managed Budgets. And it is 19. So we have, we're going to put 20 in and we'll take a one out. Ooh, we have tons of ones in here. All right, so let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. That's better. So now in this one, we have 150, 170, 180, 190, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So $250. So we're going to take this. And put it back here. Look at all that money that I need to take back to the bank. Because I made the credit card payment uh, using the buffer that I have in my bank account. Uh, but now I need to replace it. <laughs> so that's that is. But we're going to put that in this in here. This is the high yield because this needs to go into the Japan high yield savings account. So I'll put it in there with the challenge. Ever since putting it in with the challenge, it has made such a big difference. Because now I'm not questioning what that money is there for. Because I always say I'm going to remember, and nine times out of ten, I don't remember. So let's do this one. This one is mine. It's available on my Etsy. 
And this is the J Japan Pavilion at Epcot. This was a picture I took in July of last year. So nine dollars. Okay. All right, so we got tons of ones going forward, but that's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now in this one we have 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 out of 75. We may come back and do a second one on this one, um, but I want to make it through the binder first and do Sudoku. It's going to depend on how much we have left though. Why did I pull out the Sudoku? dashboard. It's going to depend on how much we have left because um, my goal is really to get this one complete. What am I doing? I need to get the Sudoku book out. Um, once the Japan binder is done, Sudoku I think is going to move over back into game night because we don't have many games in game night anymore. So let's see. One, two, three. We need five and nine. Can't figure that out. One. We need two and eight. Can't figure that out. Wait, not five and nine. Four and nine. Okay. So there's a four. So we have seven and seven. So we need to be able to put a seven in one of these. Seven can't go here. Seven can't go here. So this is a seven. Five, six, and seven. Let's do some more on this one. One, two, three. So four is here. One, two, three, four. I guess let's just see how much we can get done on this one. We're not going to go back to a uh, road trip. So now we have four, four. So then this one is a four. One, two, three four. So this is nine. Put the 10 in there, take the one. Um, we have two and eight, still can't figure those out. Let's see. Fours, fives, Um, let's go this way. So we have one, one. So one of these is a one. One, one. One of these is a one. <sighs> twos, twos. Let's see, one, yeah, we need two, six, and eight. Two, six, and eight. Six or eight can fit here. Two and six can fit here. Two, six. So this one has to be eight. Ooh, before I put that in there, let me make sure I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven dollars. We cannot do. So this is an eight. I'm going to put it up in the corner. That's we're not going to be able to do it, but at least now we know it goes there. So we have two and six left, which means this is a six. This is a two. We'll put the six up there because we don't have enough to do that. One and two. This is a three. One, two, three. We're pretty much just gonna see how much we can get done. 
This is a six. I guess next time we'll have these ready to go then. So that'll help. One, two. So this one is a three. Do we have three left? We don't. We have two left. But this is a three here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one's an eight. We need a one. This is a nine. One and two. Can't figure those out yet. One and nine. So this is nine, which means this is a one. So we figured out this one. Which means this is a one, so I figured out this one. And then this is a two. Three, four, five, six, seven. So this is an eight. And this is a two. All right, so next time I'm going to make sure right off the bat that we can finish this one. Let me add up how much we need to finish it. Six plus... 8 plus 3 plus 2 plus 9 plus 6 plus 8 plus 9 plus 2 plus 8. So we need $61 to finish this. <laughs> That's okay. So we'll make sure that we get that one finished next time. Let's see how much we are putting into this. We're putting a lot. Actually, we'll just see how much is in here. All right. So in Sudoku so far, I hate having, it's almost like we have an IOU, but which is driving me crazy, but we have 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 151, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 174 in there currently. I'm tempted to take the $58 that I put into the new road trip um, and just not start that one yet. Let me see. No, we'll just leave it. All right, so that is it for this Japan cash stuffing. I hope you guys enjoyed the new challenge. It will be up on Etsy by the time you see this video. Um, I know there's a few of you that are waiting on orders. I apologize. I was gone and then I was sick. Well, I was gone and then Wrigley was sick. And then he got me sick. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Um, but those will be going out very, very shortly. I would say Monday I will have them done and out the door. So I apologize again for the delay. But that is it for this cash stuffing. So until next time, bye. Oh my gosh, you guys. Once again, I forgot to do the Japan cards. So here's what we're going to do. Clearly, I cannot remember to do these cards, and we are almost done with the Japan binder. So I am going to say that is it for these cards for right now. Um, Japan Savings is going to come back at some point. Uh, maybe not as a whole binder, but at least uh, some, where I'll have, well, probably not as a whole binder, but at least where I'll have like one Japan Savings Challenge going at all times so that we are slowly saving up for it until we have dates actually set to go. Um, currently it's on the back burner, which is totally fine. Our budgets change, plans change, trips change. Um, so why did I grab this? This is not what I wanted to grab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the money from this one. We will start this one over when I'm ready to actually do it and maybe that will be the one that's in the travel binder for Japan. So we're going to take the money from the cards, 50, 60, 75 dollars. 
we're gonna finish this one off and I'm gonna re-add it just in case I didn't add it properly. So we've got six, two, eight, three, nine, eight, six, nine, two, and eight. So that is $61. Sudoku is now officially complete. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to Sudoku. Uh, we have 75 here, so 50, 60, 65, and we'll take out $4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So Sudoku is now done. I'm going to take this with this, come back to this binder. Put it back here with high yield. Oh, I guess I could add it for you guys, count it for you guys. Let's do that. So we have one, because I, let's condense it a little bit so it fits in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So we have 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So $235 going into the high yield savings, the Japan high yield savings, along with this um, Kyoto challenge. So we are putting a lot into the Japan high yield, which is totally fine because I don't need that money right now. If at any point I do take from there uh, or take from that high yield, I will let you guys know. I'm always transparent. I know I don't have to be, but I am. It's not a big deal to me to keep you guys in the loop. And so now we have $14. Um, I want to do this one. Hopefully, I don't think there's anything over 10 on here. And then the rest we will put into, okay, cool, six. And then the rest we'll put into build a savings. Because I just keep forgetting that one and it's, We've barely made a dent in those cards, um, and we're finishing up this binder pretty quickly now. I don't want that to be the only one that we're left trying to finish. So let me take six dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll put it into this one. So we now have 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. $44 out of 75. I would say maybe one more cash stuffing into this binder. If that, I might even just go ahead. Well, no, we'll do probably one more cash stuffing into this binder. Um, and then we will combine this binder with the travel is my guess. Is my guess. It could change. So now we have, we should have what? $8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, $8 that we're gonna put into build a savings, which makes me happy because we haven't been putting money into this. So we're putting $8 into there. Let me grab build a savings because I wasn't planning on it. All right. Let's see, there is a blue eight right there. All right, and so now we are officially done with the Japan Savings Binder. So, or travel binder. So until next time, bye.